My name is Martijn van Schieveen. I'm working at the Nieuwkerk Amsterdam. This exhibition is about three major change makers in uh, the 20th century, Gandhi, King and Mandela. They all had a different uh, way of, um, of looking at the world, but also in a way the same. They could um, move us just by, by telling their story. I'm a history teacher and uh, 20th century where this man lived uh, is just an amazing century. Uh, full of violence, but uh, I think these people are a uh, lighting example of how things also can be done uh, even when the world is falling apart around you. They inspire me because all three, they had one major tipping point in their personal lives when they realize, you know, I gotta do things now. The exhibition is really inspiring um, in that it's sharing a little bit more about Gandhi's work, um, about some of his practices, what they've been to influence um, what he's done for the Indian people and British rule. Um, I knew a lot about the uh, Martin Luther King um, education in the States. We, you know, hail him as one of our highest heroes. Um, Steel's always been one of mine. Mandela has always inspired me just because that's more close to the heart, I guess, because I'm from the Netherlands and the Netherlands and, and Mandela has always been connected and therefore I was always kind of connected and I always liked what he said about everything. I think I would like to ask Mandela uh, what gave him the, the strength and the courage to keep on going. I'd maybe ask him more about how, how he would look at life now, considering uh, the racial tension that is around the world right now and the, and the, the polarization of race right now. Back then it was apartheid and you had something to fight against and now it's it's sort of beneath the skin racism and, and uh, it's more difficult to tackle. I think. And I wonder how he'd deal with that. Single-handedly Martin Luther King, um, I would ask him how he keeps finding allies and how he delivers on the promise of the dream. My dream um, is that uh, societies really, really, really now finally get themselves on a sustainable path. Sustainable not only in terms of green eco-climate, but also sustainable in terms of equal uh, rights. My dream is for my kid to, to end up in a world that's better than it's now. My dream is to, in a small way, do what these men also did, but then in my own shrining. My dream is to see a world in which we look at each other and we don't assume, we relieve all biases at the door and um, we have equal footing in every industry, every capacity across the world. Uh, my dream would be that after all these years, after all these decades and centuries, we can finally combat racism and discrimination.